raining! It's raining! It's raining! See, it's raining! It's raining! <laughs> Got it! It's raining! <laughs> this camera's not waterproof. <laughs> Get your cocoa blocks. Oh, rain is not an everyday occurrence around here. We get a little excited. Oh, oh, oh we've got, got some fun stuff for you guys today besides the rain. Well, I'm gonna just keep my camera dry so we don't. <laughs> Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We got rain. Look, that means we might have some snakes paired up. Come on, snakes. Come on, snakes. Come on, snakes. Oh, somebody shed in there? Oh, that's a lock, friends. That is. A lock. Let's see what else we got going on in here. A lock. Bam, bam. That is an Enchi Spot Nose GHI Red Stripe clown to a bamboo female. Rain and snake breeding go together like, well, not rain in California, I tell you what. Hey, hey, it's raining, guys. Go with the program, huh? Do, 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 looking out my back door. Come on, you two. Making me look bad over here, dude. What about in here? Woo, another clutch! Oh, that's a snake on eggs. That, that, that is a snake on, snake on, snake on eggs! Yeah! Man, we're having a fancy morning. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff set up so that it looks more presentable in here. And we're gonna do an update on all those rescued ball pythons. They're coming out of quarantine today. So I'm gonna bring them down here. We'll take a good look at them. Get these snakes off the eggs. We've had another clutch just late yesterday too and I didn't video it because I was too excited. <laughs> but, but from what I could tell in there, we're still 0 for 0 on any slugs this season, dude. Like, hold on, I gotta get myself together here. Okay, okay, got myself a little more together. Got the clutch out here ready to pull. This is Bubbles. Woo! Bubbles is champagne. And she was paired with the king, who's a coral glow pied. Last time we tried this pairing, we didn't get coral glow champagne, so I really wanted to try again. And then of course everything will be 100% pied. So that's awesome. Um, Bubbles, you're looking good. You're looking nice. Oh, she's being a good mom. Gonna be a busy April and May coming up. You're good, you're good, you're good, here we go. Check this out over here. Well now, how now, brown cow? Good, well done, empty, fantastic. I'm gonna take good care of these eggs for you. All right, guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful eggs, and still zero slugs for the entire season. I don't know how much longer we can keep this going for. This is, just doesn't seem sustainable. Zero slugs all season. This is clutch number eight of the season. Zero slugs. Zero slugs. Freedom breeder. Rack shelf. Rodents. Thawing. Freedom breeder. I, I don't know what else to say. Fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh eggies. Do, 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 do. Fantastic nine. Yes. Do, do. Getting full, getting full. Yes, so these snakes all cleared the quarantine period, which means they're getting one of these bad boys right here. Every snake that makes it through quarantine and becomes part of our population gets one of those. And I just might start bringing these back for people to get snakes from us. I did it at one point and then somebody made a comment about, oh, it's just more stuff for me to throw away. And I was like, 
I'm not making them anymore. <laughs> that was probably not a good thing to do. I should probably keep making them. What do you think? If you get a snake from me, you want one of those cards? Or will you throw it away? So I just wanted to do an update on these snakes that we had rescued um, a while back. What was it? Back in January. And they're coming out, down out of quarantine, so they're getting their picks. And uh, I haven't really been sending any pictures to Grant or Arnold over there because uh, I know it was a bit of an emotional thing for them to have to no longer keep these snakes. So I didn't want to keep reopening a wound, potentially. But if you guys happen to be watching, then you get a little update on all the snakes over here. So this first one being Roxy, a pastel gravel yellow belly, which is a pastel highway. Roxy, she's looking good. She's been eating like a champion. You can see right here, she's uh, a beautiful snake. No less beautiful than when she first arrived. And we're happy to be keeping her. Yes, whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. She is, she's, she's a bit feisty today. I don't know if it's the rain. I don't know if it's the heat. Combo of heat and rain, but she is not stood still. It was a lot of fun for pictures. And then we've got Rocky, pastel gravel specter, and he is our token in shed snake for the day. He's deep too. Those eyes are clouded up and he's usually much more yellow and vibrant than this, but uh, that's what we got for today. Hello, Rocky. I'm gonna put you back now. And we've got Destro, an Orange Dream spot nose clown male. And he likes to strike just about everything that comes near his enclosure. But he's doing good. He's been eating like a champ and man, uh, he's gonna be ready to see some of our females over here, I think late next season or early next season, probably if he keeps doing like he's been doing. Spot nose orange dream clown. Destro. G.I. Joe, America hero. And then we've got here what I think is probably one of the most stunning snakes, in my opinion, that came out of that group. Just something really different about this snake. I mean, the, the belly color on this girl is just really interesting and weird much different than any other snake I've ever seen. And I thought at first it was just like staining, but it's actually not. Cause she shed out several times, or she shed out a couple times and the belly just stays like that. So pretty interesting. She is a red jean pastel and she yellow belly Mojave ringer jean. It's, it's a mouthful, but she's a good looking snake, man. I feel like this worked into sunset would be Phenomenal, shall we say? And she is going into shed right now. She's not fully in shed, but she's going into shed. So she's not as intense looking as she usually looks. And we've got Christina. She was a bit of a slow eater here with us to start. Um, she didn't eat, well, it's going nuts up there. Kids in their inside day. She wasn't eating like crazy. She would, she would wrap something and then drop it and then not take it down. But uh, she just had a nice meal last night. She's got a little, chunk of food in her belly right there right now. So doing good despite the fact she was a bit of a slow eater to start. And Christina is a super pastel orange dream fire clown. Run away, run away. And this is Noah's favorite snake out of the group. Pied yellow belly, pumpkin, looking real nice. to get an office. Pied yellow belly. And last but certainly not least is Cassie, the firefly butter hypo. Female, just had a meal last night too. And looking oh so nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that update of these snakes. There they are. Ah. 
first five went to Mr. Crop and Dial. No, not yet. You guys did the whole song. How do you feel about that rain we just got? Oh, it feels good. I want a little bit more, but we'll take it. What do you think about the rain we just got? Um, I so good. Don't write error on me. Don't write error. I ask you please for no write errors. Please no write errors. I would love if there were no write errors on this audio recording. Please no write errors. I will return you piece of recorder crap that always gives me write errors. No write errors. No write errors. Please no write errors. No write errors.